Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can create a sub theme for adaptive theme in your project and enable that and even start to see it working a little bit. So check it out. We're going to get going right now. Okay, so when we left off, we had actually set this AT sub theme as our default theme. We're going to want to go ahead and undo that. So I'm going to go ahead and just set this bar tick back to the default. And then I'm going to disable the sub theme. Now, the sub theme is really meant to just be used as a template to copy and then create another theme off of. So let's head to Finder and head to our project. Now, from our Drupal installation, we can go to Sites, All, Themes where we installed adaptive theme and let's open up this folder and you'll notice the 8T sub theme is right here. What we can do is simply just copy this 8T sub theme and I did it outside of the adaptive theme folder so we have it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this name to level up just like so. So this is now going to be the name of our new sub theme level up. In addition to renaming the folder, we also have to come in here and rename this .info file. So this is adaptive underscore sub .info. We can change this to level up .info, just like we did with the folder. Now we actually need to open up level up .info in our text editor. I'm going to be using Sublime Text to edit any files. You can use, of course, any sort of text editor of your choice. Now this name is just going to be the name of our theme. It's going to be level up. Now the description can be whatever you'd like it to be. This is just going to show up on the appearance page of your admin. So we can just say a new theme from level up tutorials. Okay, and it's using core version seven. The base theme is adaptive theme, so we don't want to change that. And the release is going to be 7x, 3x, and that should be all good. Now, we're just going to maintain the screenshot here. Once your theme's all done, you can actually make a screenshot or upload your own, and that should be all good. So let's go ahead and click save, and let's head back to our project. Now, let's refresh this theme page. And you'll see we have a new theme here. We have Level Up, which is 7.x 3.2, a new theme from Level Up Tutorials. We can go and click Enable and set as default. Now let's come to the front of our page here, the home page. And you'll notice it looks just like we had the sub theme before. It's entirely blank. Nothing is going on here at all. So right now I'm actually going to take the entire theme, the sub theme level up folder. I'm going to drag this into sublime text so we can see all of the files and see what comes with this sub theme. So we have, uh, like most themes, we have CSS, we have images, we have scripts, we have your favicon. Uh, we also have a config.rb file, which is going to be used to configure your SAS environment. If you're not using SAS or any other CSS preprocessor, I highly recommend it. It just takes a little bit to learn. It's, it's a very, very small learning curve. It's essentially just CSS with additional features. It can save you a lot of time, and it can make writing CSS really super awesome. So we have this config.rb file, which we shouldn't have to worry about. And then we have this favicon. We have our level up.info, which you've already seen. We have the site logo. We have the screenshot, which we've seen. We have our template.php file, which you should be familiar with if you've done any sort of Drupal theming. If you haven't, just know that this is where you can put functions that, that alter sort of how your website works in different ways. We'll go over that in a little bit more detail once we start getting to some more advanced things. And then we have theme settings. So as you can see, it's for your gnarly custom theme settings. Next, we have layouts where we just have our basic naked page layout here. We have this uh, image, we have this include file, and we have just a sort of non-CSS file. It's just this very basic thing that uh, loads this naked.png. So you can see that this layout is included here, but you don't have to use this. Now we have, so you can see that this layout exists. Next inside of images, so we just have some images for uh, an icon. So for for bookmarking icons, we have an iPad Retina standard. I would recommend adding more than just these these uh, Apple ones. In addition, Microsoft and Google has their own set of bookmarking icons that are something that you'll definitely want to add to your project, and we can go over that as well. 
And then lastly, we have their CSS, which is what is created from our SAS files. And if you don't want to use the SAS files, you don't have to, but like I said, it's really worth your time. So we can come in here and let's just come to global styles and let's just set body background to red. We can save this, head to our theme, refresh, and without doing a whole lot, we have our sub theme up and going. We've already modified a style to it. It looks ugly. We're not going to keep it, but you've made a uh, modification to a sub theme that you created all on your own, and it was just ridiculously easy. So we now have our sub theme going, and we're ready to start learning a little bit more about adaptive theme, and then we're going to get into styling more with SAS. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or it's up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.